Shea Coule, Sasha Velour. Congratulations, you are both the winners of this week's challenge. Team Good Morning Bitches, you are all safe. You may leave the stage. Oh my God, Shay and I won working together. <laughs> <laughs> Finally a win. I'm so happy. Yes. <laughs> We've had three challenges. I've been safe the whole time. And while I feel confident that I've turned some really cool looks so far, being safe is a scary place because you don't know if you're forgettable or if you're just doing well and coasting through the competition. almost had me pissing on <laughs> myself. I think Farrah and I were like wetting ourselves under that desk. <laughs> to the ladies of Good Morning Bitches, and especially to Shay and Sasha, congratulations on your win. Yes. 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 Congratulations. Ladies. 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 What a solid team. And also, congratulations to Aja for picking such a you good group the of team, girls. You picked the team, bitch. Well, honestly, this is a wake-up call for me in so many ways. Like, I've just felt so in my head. And I feel so good right now. I listen to the critique. Look at you, you today, you look so, so beautiful. You look like you're not, you're not afraid of your face yeah. and you're trying to hide it. You are so beautiful and you are just, like, accentuating that in the full true queen that you are. It's just really hard to like embrace like my natural features because like all my life I've just been told that I was ugly for my natural features. And it, when I first started doing drag, like, you know, like if I were to paint like a face like Farrah's or Valentina's, it's very soft and blended. People would come up to me and be like, oh, what are you doing? Like, you look ugly. Like, nothing's gonna help that face. Like, oh, you need fillers. Oh, you need this and you need that. Like, you know, people would make fun of my skin and like my, my scars. I've always struggled with the idea of beauty because there's such a pressure to fit a certain image. And the reality is we don't have to fit the image. Beauty has no identity, so I have to feel confident and maybe channel that in myself. Now, Shay, <laughs> you've been in the top before, and now you have your first win. How does that feel? Yes. It feels really good because last week, I was in a dark place. Being that constructing clothes is like, you know, my trade. Mm -hmm. I at least wanted to be in the top and then to just be safe, I was like, Grr. And I didn't even look on the bright side that I was at least moving forward right. in the competition. Yeah, it right. wasn't like I was lip syncing. You know what I'm saying? We're all like, ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's all about perspective. And I think that as long as we can all maintain that right. and realize that we are like here for a reason, that we just have to do our best, I think that we'll all be really successful going forth in this competition. I, and I agree. It sucks um, to be um, not on today. Y'all, not on today is not on today. On today. <laughs> it's canceled. Cancel. <laughs> Ladies, um, isn't it weird to think that two people from that team are lip syncing against each other? That's deep. Wow. Which, which two do y'all know? Well, we didn't see them in the challenge. Yeah, that's the we thing that sucks. We didn't, but who was squirming the most? Oh, Peppermint's Runway. Peppermint's Ooh. Runway is rough. Pe Pe Peppermint, Peppermint is in deep you guys, and I'm sad about it. Me too. I don't She's think she prepared for this look She didn't. It was she, an afterthought. She literally looks like Taraji P. Henson from Baby Boy. Oh. Like, where you been at? Let me smell your Yup. Yeah. You know, y'all know the scene. 
Who was Peppermint paired with? Trinity. Trinity. Paired with Trinity. Oh. And I heard Trinity was a dictator of a leader. She didn't let anyone decide what they liked. She was like, this is gonna be you, this is gonna be you, and if you wanna talk, you have to raise your hand. I'm, I'm also gonna say, if we're talking about like taste level and looks, Trinity's wasn't my favorite look tonight. And today is not my favorite day for Nina either on that runway. Nina looks I kind love that. Do you really? I really do. I just feel like for Naughty Nighty is like such a sexy category. <laughs> Why are you going to look like a zombie? When I saw her painting teeth on her face, that's when I was just like, what's oh, going to happen? No, no one else doing... would ever think of yeah, that. Yeah, but I'm not clocking her for being different. I'm clocking it because it's execution. executed poorly. My general consensus about that team's looks on the runway tonight is very indicative of the way I felt about their Eureka. their morning show looks, is Ooh. that they were a bit yeah. all over the place. Bitch, They're not in the same universe they, at all. They looked like a college. <laughs> Uh, community college <laughs> Public morning <access> show <laughs> on channel number three that can't make it on the morning, so they played at 3 a.m. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh like, it God. was just a little bit rough around the edges. Yeah. And I was just like, y'all, I don't know if I would want to watch that in the morning when I wake up with no. my coffee. I'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger, but thicker. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like a tree trunk. Yeah. Maybe your thighs are getting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ladies, I have to ask something, and I hate to be morbid, yada yada, but who do y'all think is gonna go home tonight? Oh God. Peppermint I might be in want, trouble. I don't want to think about it. I don't I, want to see Peppermint go. Me I don't either, but I think she's in I trouble. I love Peppermint's energy so oh, much. I. Love I can't imagine this group of girls without her. She's also, Sasha, a legend. Like, I remember growing up in New York City, and I remember as a little, like, you know, middle schooler, high schooler, getting the free gay magazines and flipping through them and seeing Peppermint in the magazines. So she's like a legend on our season. She is a legend. I think Trinity might be in what? trouble because she wasn't a good group Listening. leader. This is also based on what we've heard. Yeah. yeah. I want to hear this coming out of. Them. The group. Yeah, we and haven't them. seen what yeah. they did. I like to hear. They've been gone that. for a while. They must be getting it really hard in there. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for your honesty. While you untuck backstage, the judges and I will deliberate. We've all had you that damn thing. <laughs> up every time I'm just like, man, I'm gonna suck her so hard. <laughs> 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 I'm that cranberry sauce. Hey, ladies. Ooh, hey, ladies. Y'all were gone forever. It felt like forever, too, oh, girl. Oh, my God. That was more fun ladies, than a colostomy. Ladies, what's the tea? Who, what's who's going in the on? bottom? Well, li well listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my two-piece, because I've got to go. Play it okay. on us, Trinity. Who did what? Who were the anchors? Who were the? Me and her were the anchors. Her Cuckoo and Cynthia and I were, were entertainment. And then y'all were DIY. OK. So I want to clarify why I chose you to <gasps> be to go home. Oh, they asked you that. Yes. At the end they of the critiques. I chose you because, obviously, Eureka and Nina got really good critiques. So it was between us three. I knew me and her were going on the bottom, too. I chose you because you're you're not. Like, there's no way they're going to So she you. was like a throwaway. You're just right, like, let me just. Right, because they're not going to choose her. Eureka? Well, I chose Trinity because she was our team captain, also because of the critiques that they, they got as anchors. And I chose you over Peppermint only because, to me, as a leader, you automatically get more responsibility for something going wrong, especially if it's your group. You see what I'm saying? I'm not upset that you picked me at all. I under, I. Well, you retaliated like you were if pretty you would upset. If you let me finish, I take responsibility for the things that I did wrong in our segment. But what I don't agree with and what I think you're very shady about... It's not shady if it's true. You said that I was not a good leader. I was a good leader. Yes, we ran out of time and we did not get to do it all together, but that wasn't just my fault. We were working as a team. That is why you're shady. Am I shady? You are shady. Because I feel like you want to immediately go to shady versus stepping up and accepting responsibility. You're making it about something else that when it's not. When we sat down, I felt like it was, well, me and Peppermint are the anchors. They're going to do this because they want to do that. Nina, Eureka, y'all are doing no, DIY. No, I said, no, this I'm not is done. why. I'm not done. No, you're done because I'm going to tell you why you're done. I explained exactly why I picked you for that role, and Cuckoo for her role, see, and Peppermint for her role. And if I anybody picked, had an I 
objection, objection. They could have objected and we could have talked it out. So don't stand on the stage and say, I didn't do my job because I did. When did now, you come if you over want and to check say on what we were that doing. I should take responsibility and I should be in the bottom because I'm the leader, I can do that. But don't say I didn't do my job. I felt like I wasn't included. You and Peppermint you talked about You think you're not included. You think I don't know. I know you. You don't know me, baby. I didn't get a chance to explain my reasoning for saying what I said, so I'm going to now. If she doesn't want to listen, she doesn't have to. I'm going to go. Okay. You guys enjoy. You Thank guys you. enjoy. Thank you. Did you not feel comfortable with the role that you were assigned? I was comfortable with our role after it happened. But regardless of the situation, our entire time we worked on our stuff, we were alone in our pairs. Do you not agree? We were. I do not remember Trinity walking up to me asking me if I was doing OK, how our skit was going, what's it sound like, what's this, I think this, you were gone that? at the time. She, she did, I have a question. She did once. Well, she didn't to me. She did, she did to us once. Nina Bonina Rob Zombie Brown. <laughs> How did you feel? Hold on, y'all. Oh, hold on. Oh. You broke your back, girl? Sit up, sit up, girl. <laughs> oh. Girl. Those hip pads are oh, right. Baby. <laughs> hungry, hungry hip pads. Baby. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> the hip pads got you, girl? Somebody has to be the messy one. <laughs> <laughs> um. She was a good captain, but we didn't really feel included sometimes. I mean, and we had a conversation about that together. Yeah. So it wasn't me just trying to attack no. Trinity. It was literally, you two, you two, you two, that's it. In retrospect, I agree that it was time management that was the issue. Because if we had run it a few more times around the table, we would have realized that at the end of the interview segment, we have to say goodbye. That we had to say goodbye, <laughs> and that it was up to True. it was up to one of the co-anchors to say, "Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you very much, Naya, and thank you for joining us on Not On Not Today." Really yeah, yeah, no, you, you can grab my toe. Nina, yeah. I wasn't, you know, I'm messy too, bitch. <laughs> I'm messy too. Whisper it right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, she successfully was put back into place, honey. Trinity, I want to know if you, like, actually cared about what your group thought about and let them pick what they wanted to do. Because our group, we did so well because Asha let us read through all the parts and like pick what we felt like we would be strong as. We all did parts that we related to. What, the word that was thrown around in the workroom, and I'm just gonna be real, was that you were a dictator. Yeah. Well, this is the part about being a leader, is that you have to make decisions. So I made decisions based on the personalities of the people and what I thought that they would excel at. She obviously is a crafty queen. She makes sickening stuff out of paper. Why yeah, would she true. not excel in that aspect? You did say that. I knew that her personality with the way Eureka's personality is, they would be able to interact really well together. She... And you were right. And I was right. It just sounds like dictatory. I think it's, this, it's your look. You have a very serious, like, bitch, don't I've me. I've got 50 units of Botox in my face. <laughs> what y'all want from me. <laughs>
You say you're relaxed, but you just seem like you're you're, you're like but coming I, out strong. I am, but that's just my personality. I am very standoffish. It's taken a lot for me to open up to people. I am very like, don't talk to me. Not that I mean it that way, but that's how I how I come across the way I look to people. People don't know where I came from. People don't know the things that I've been through in my life to make me the way that I am. So but, it's something I struggle with every day. I if, try. If there's any, if it means anything to you, like, I can't say I completely have walked in your shoes, but I can say that I do understand, like, how it is to kind of carry. Like, I came here carrying a lot of weight on my shoulders with a lot of different things back at home. And I know, like, I was in the bottom last week, and it really sucks. Like, right. But just don't overthink it. If I'm stay, that's something I'm definitely going to carry over to the next part of the competitions is not overthinking stuff. Ladies, five-minute warning, five-minute warning. Thank you, five. There's so much going through my head. I think everybody is thinking it's going to be Trinity and peppermint lip syncing. But I know that if I'm in the bottom two, then I'm going home because I'm not a lip sync performer. So I hope, like Bianca, to get all the way through to the end without ever having to lip sync. There's a lot of girls in this competition that when they get in this position, they just give up. That's not me. When I'm faced with something that is hard, I get stronger and I work harder. I deserve to be in the bottom and maybe this is my chance to show the judges that I am an entertainer. I'm not scared of this lip sync. This is what I do for a living. I lip sync, I perform, and I'm confident and I'm ready. I'm just gonna take a deep breath and lip sync for my mother life. Cause I'm not going. Bro, I'm telling you this, if I get in the bottom, these earrings are coming off. I'm taking this right oh, off. Oh, yeah, yeah, before, yeah. yeah. If you need me, I can have them. I'll just okay. put them on the ground. I mean, it is what it is. All right, ladies, time to walk over. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Welcome back, ladies. I've made some decisions. Trinity Taylor, Charlie Hydes, you are up for elimination. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and save yourself from elimination. The time has come for you to lip sync for your life! Ladies, I have made my decision. Trinity Taylor, Shante, you stay. Dame Charlie Hydes. London, Boston, and now the world. Sashay away. Thank you, Rue. It's been a pleasure, girls. Don't touch me. Congratulations, my queen. Oh, and remember, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Can I get an amen, baby? Uh. This competition has made me realize that I don't have a killer instinct to fight. But I think that there are some older broads like myself who still have something to offer. 
the seasoned queens, the drag mothers that have inspired a lot of these younger competitors still have got amazing talents and they should still think there's a chance for them. Anybody over 40 should be auditioning and sending in the tape. Just keep on working, keep on working, keep on believing. Just because their dream didn't come true right away doesn't mean it's not gonna come true. Now I'm excited to be part of this sorority of amazingly talented performers. It's a very small number of people who have shared this incredible experience, and I'm looking forward to getting to know them better outside of this competition. I'm gonna miss this crazy f freezing fridge. What a crazy run this has been. I don't know if anybody noticed, but I've only worn two pairs of shoes on the runway. I just kept on changing them, decorating them in different ways. I've got some amazing costumes that I was really hoping to be able to show off. My husband did all, I, I made the gown and then my husband did this thousands and thousands of Swarovski crystals all applied by hand. And I'm really disappointed that I'm not gonna get to show them. Gowns with capes and corsets and gloves. And I'm also disappointed that I'm not gonna get to do Joan Rivers in the Snatch Game, because I would have killed at the Snatch Game as Joan Rivers. I'm gonna start crying now. Charlie, I love you so much. You have a new friend, sister, and fan of me forever. Can't wait for the bottle or two of wine in New York City. Sasha with her phone number. Charlie, it's been such a pleasure getting to know you. I thought it was shorter than I would have liked. You've made a lasting impression on me. Shay. <laughs> Leave me that blue wig, Haja. Thank you for being such a great person and queen this whole time. It was a pleasure getting to know you. I hope to work with you soon in the future. Surprisingly, Aja's handwriting is really, really neat. I expected like really erratic. Asha, well done. I made some real connections with, with some of the girls and um, I was so amazed. To, to meet some really talented people. I love being in a room full of creative, energetic people, and to watch them going about it in a different way from the way I go about it was really exciting. And, and just to be part of that creative process with really talented people and to hold my own, at least for a short time, that was really a highlight. I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity to be here. Hi, crazy ass workroom. And I'm a perfect example of someone who has worked hard for a long time and, and it didn't happen overnight for me, but I never gave up. If Charlie at 52 can get on, hopefully I represent the fact that maybe sometimes later in life is when your dream comes true and that's when it's meant to come true. Bye, Hamburger Mary. This is it. This is time for me to go. Well, this has been an adventure. We are going to miss you. I cannot wait to see what you're going to do. Thank you very much. I'll be wearing something I made, something fabulous. Bye. I'm coming home, James. Bye.